Hi my YouTuber friends, it's Scarpunk again with, with another video and I want to discuss to you guys about 12 volts and the best way to, especially if you're living out of your van full time, even part time, even going away for the weekend, you know, what you have to bear in mind is people are used to, in a house, when they live in a house, you switch, flip a switch, the light is on, you flip a switch, the light is on, you turn the tap you got unlimited water but the thing is in a van you do not have no you don't you don't have unlimited power and a lot the biggest mistake I see a lot of van dwellers do I watch a lot of van channels especially with women who do van life or part-time or go away is a lot of them tend to bring you know they talk about baggage well they bring baggage in the sense that they bring AC appliances in their vehicles to live out of and then you wonder why the batteries and the power don't last long which is why you don't have unlimited power in a, like in a house again like I said before you're used to turning things on and everything just appears like that in the van it doesn't work that way and this is about to give people an idea that the best way to let your battery last is I highly recommend if you can everything should be 12 volts and I do mean everything and you know what you can get things like blenders and even a microwave that's 12 volts a fridge too nomadic fridge 12 volts these things will make you last long and then maybe you will have Yes, maybe you will then. And I can show you a few things you can use when you have the power to use and you can, it'll last you overnight and stuff like that. And it's much better to do it that way, like I said before. Like I said before, this TV is an AC TV and this is a 400 watt power power battery power but when I have this on it lasts for six out seven hours especially in the, in the wilderness that's not good you'll run your battery pretty fast if this was a 12 volt battery I mean TV I can watch it for two three days straight before it even goes down not that it's going to go down because I'm not going to watch TV all day but the point is you want to conserve your power and I'll show you a few things that you can use you have a blender which is 12 volts this blender is 12 volts you have that you have a coffee maker which is 12 volts the fan of course is 12 volts and the funny thing is a lot of dwellers I find use the household coffee maker that will burn your battery pretty fast 12 volt iron that I never knew you had you can use that too instead of using a household iron which also will burn your battery pretty fast a microwave there you go I never knew they had a microwave never knew they had a microwave 12 volt microwave this I may pick up at the end of the year or next year this you can use also instead of bringing a household one and like I said guys like the microwave if you imagine you bring in a household microwave to use in your living in your van or tiny house the power you would use is astounding you'd have no power left for tomorrow not good at all which means you won't have exactly unlimited power Scrappy, he's over there by the cup car there. Come here, Scrappy, let's go. Let's go. There you go. Come and catch up with me. There yeah, he's catching up. He's having a run. He's walking around. There's a cup right over there. There he goes, watching me. He's running around. That's it. But you guys get the point. You, you do those things, you'll have plenty of battery, and the battery power will last you a lot, a long time. So 
if you want to conserve your battery and your power that you have, solar panel and stuff, use the right, right, right equipment and I highly recommend 12 volts equipment. You do that, you'll be in great shape. With that, keep it sweet, keep, no, keep it sweet, keep it real, or something like that, keep it sweet, nice and real. There you go, so I messed up that part. Anyway, who gives a bollocks? It's DIY, what do you think? Oi, punk rock, laters. Have a good day.